Storytelling is something that was heavily neglected in the early years of game development. Stories were in most cases half-baked, bad, and honestly just an excuse to justify the combat that was going to be happening on screen. Nowadays that has completely changed. In modern times we have many multiple games that actually surpass conventional entertainment in terms of storytelling ability. If you compare the best series, anime or even movies there are a number of games that come off the top of my head that absolutely compete and surpass these shows in many various aspects. So in this video we're going to name off a few of these games that do this very thing. Elevate gaming to the pinnacle of the entertainment medium. Combining the immersiveness of game interactivity and unforgettable stories. Let's get right into the video. Let's start this right off with Life is Strange. A game that looks on the surface like a bad generic teen drama ended up being one of my favourite games of all time. Now follow Max Caulfield as she tries to solve a complex mystery at her new school deal with the challenges of a high schooler and possibly save her friend. This is a story driven game with a much less of a focus on the gameplay. Very similar to the Telltale games if you've ever heard of them before. The bulk of the gameplay is talking to people, interacting with objects and making significant story choices. Adding in superpowers to this mix only makes the story that much better with even more far reaching consequences. Life is Strange is definitely an emotional roller coaster that I recommend to most new players to hop into, especially if you're somebody who's more so a casual gamer per se and you're new to the gaming medium entirely. It's a great starting point as it's quite simple and will get you quite used to interacting with 3D games. This is one of my favourite games ever and it gives you a really strong amount of feeling and makes you really think on what you're willing to sacrifice for the people that you love. My next recommendation for you for a great narrative driven experience is Dragon Age Inquisition. Now we all know Veilgod has gotten a huge amount of heat for the controversial propaganda being pushed into the game and the game honestly just not being that great from most independent reviewers. Now if you're not so sure about Veilgod, maybe take a step back with me to 24 with Dragon Age Inquisition which is a certified banger. Dragon Age Inquisition won Game of the Year back in 2014 for very good reason but it definitely was not in the gameplay. Now the gameplay is not bad by any means, there definitely are a few classes which are slightly more interesting such as the mage and the rogue but if you make the gameplay of this title the main meal you're looking forward to it will be unable to stand upon its own two feet. You create your own character that will be known as the Inquisitor and you lead your very own organization called the Inquisition. Essentially the power that you've been bestowed with and the goal that you're trying to achieve is to close the huge rift that is going to destroy the world as you know it. You will have great fun leading your organization, doing quests, building relationships with your companions and not to mention the plenty of player choices you will make in the game. When looking around online most of the discourse surrounding the game rarely mentions the high quality of the story but it definitely is really good and should not be ignored under any circumstances. Having power is definitely cool and you also have a very cool amount of romance options available to you. If you ever wanted a game that's going to give you a cool power fantasy Dragon Age Inquisition is definitely the way to go. I always love playing as some sort of noble lord and it will definitely scratch that itch for you. You'll make a number of sacrifices throughout your journey and this game will let you think and imagine what it would be like to be betrayed or to be helped by those who you least expect. Now let's move on over to the next one, Metro Redux. Now this is kind of a two for one special as it's essentially the remake and remastering of Metro 2033 and Metro Last Light, two very good and strong games created from the team that originally stemmed from the original creators of Stalker based upon the novel called Metro 2033. Metro is a very interesting linear first person shooting game that places a large amount of focus on the story. Now this is a 2 for 1 special. Essentially the way that they did it is that they essentially modernized the gameplay to make Metro Redux into one cohesive experience that you can play all at once and play Metro 2033 then play Metro Last Light immediately after each other making it a longer and pretty much just interesting long experience for you to enjoy. 
following RTM, you will definitely have a great experience. And also considering how Stalker 2 has had a very questionable launch in terms of performance and all of these other things, perhaps it's time for you to get into Metro, play Metro Redux. Perhaps if you're done with that, go into Metro Exodus. And by the time you finish those three titles, Stalker 2 will probably have gotten enough significant patches, so it's a much more acceptable playable experience. Now compared to the other games I've mentioned before, Metro is a little bit different as it's not going to be a very high or very interesting or intricate plot. It's more so a journey game similar to something like Uncharted but of course in a first person shooter perspective. It's a really great experience and unfortunately RTM is not a voiced protagonist so in terms of your character impacting the world from a huge narrative perspective it's not going to be as strong but the choices you make in the game definitely do matter and you will feel that impact. The Walking Dead Telltale is one of the best narrative driven games of all time. An absolutely sensational experience that rightfully so brought Telltale to the pinnacle of the gaming world. This is an extremely good game and I implore you to please go ahead and get this game and just play it. It is so, so, so good. And this is coming from somebody who dislikes the horror genre. I thoroughly, thoroughly do not like being scared under any circumstances. But the story and this entire experience was just so, so good, so, so somber. I have to recommend it to you and I had to complete it. I even ended up, ended up playing the other Walking Dead Telltale game that came right afterwards, Season 2 and Season 3. Now afterwards, they definitely do dip in quality, but just play Season 1 and if you stop there, you will be just fine. It's a great experience. You, you follow two main protagonists, Lee and Clementine. I'm not going to spoil anything about this game. Please go ahead and try it. It is going to push you to the absolute limit in terms of your decision making, your morality. How much do you truly care for human life? What are you willing to do in order to survive? I can't spoil anything. I want you to hop into this game completely blind. This is one of the few games that will genuinely evoke real emotion from the player truly truly so isn't much to look for in terms of the gameplay you'll be shooting here and there there will be qte actions quick time events here happening here and there but gameplay is not why you're doing this the, the reason you're going to play this game is for the story and the heart hard decisions that you will make because the decisions you make in this game will be the reason someone lives or dies real talk get into this the Walking Dead is a great experience and I hope I've been able to convince you enough to go ahead and give this a shot. Now for the final game we're going to be discussing in this list, number 5, Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 3. This is a really really great game and you might find it odd and say, hey does this really even qualify as this is essentially an adaptation of an anime turned into a game. Now that is true. And you may disqualify this section because of that, but I disagree because compared to the other Storm games, and not just Storm games, just anime game adaptations in general, the way in which the story is presented is absolutely phenomenal. And not just that, they use the interactivity in the game to really invest you into the story. The best quick time events you've ever seen. Absolutely sensational. And not only that, they add onto the anime their own thing to give it its own twist and to make it interesting. Now, it is a bit frustrating as the ending isn't exactly canon or accurate to the anime, but if you look past that, you will still enjoy a great, great experience. If you're somebody who's watched Naruto and you haven't really played any of the Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm games before, they're essentially arena battle games and it's essentially the most best way to pretty much become a ninja. You're put into an arena which you fight around, you have all the abilities of your favorite characters and which you can use at your will. It's a truly great experience and I recommend all of you who are fans of Naruto to play it. It's even better than Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 which was the finale of the series. It's a great game, the presentation is so so high quality, the flashbacks are done so well and the in-game cutscenes are so well executed. And of course Naruto and Naruto Shippuden are just good quality stories overall filled with emotions and I'd recommend anybody to watch. Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 3 covers a really interesting point in the series, not the pinnacles of the show but it covers a really interesting part of the show and it's something really really emotional. And for me personally, 
um, I actually hadn't caught up to the anime at that point, so I was actually watching new content while I was playing the game, which definitely made that experience a lot more enjoyable as well. It's definitely a great game and I definitely recommend someone who enjoys Naruto or someone who just enjoys anime, hey, maybe this will be the reason you actually finally watch all of Naruto. So that's all that I have in store for you guys today. Thank you for joining me for another video. More gaming and anime content is definitely on the way. I'm Explicit Sage and I'm out. I'll see you on the next video.